Alright everyone, welcome back to Spiral Abyss, and here we are, back into the depths of floor 12. And the biggest enemy that I've been seeing complaints about is actually pretty physically big as well, it's the Eon Blight Drake, which, in my opinion, kind of lets me know how many people aren't archers, because the majority of the Amber Mains that I've met, they're all like, dude, I can just but Baron Bunny this guy to death. But I realize that not everyone is an archer player, and in which I say you should probably bring an archer. Even if it's like a level 1 Diana or something, bring them, because they're going to provide you so much more quality of life than just kind of dying. So, when it comes to Eon Black Drake, which again, is pretty simple, it's literally just one step forwarded. By that, in which I mean the regular fight in the overworld, it starts on its feet, you down it, or if you take long enough, it'll go up into the air. But this time, it starts in the air. However, you can actually apply stuff to it beforehand. And this basically makes it as easy as Ruin Serpent. Because Ruin Serpent, in my opinion, I don't know why people make it to be difficult. Ruin Serpent in Abyss was not difficult at all. People just mistimed their bursts all the time and then complained and blamed on the boss because they thought that, you know, the game had to be played only in one or two ways. When you actually had to be more adaptable. But that's another story for another time. Let's get into the guide and show you how simple this actually is. All right, when it comes to floor 12, chamber three, just know that the fight is literally the overworld fight in reverse. So instead of starting the fight on the floor and you can try to get him down, just shoot him out of the air. But you can also apply everything to begin with first here. So you can be all like, all right, let's get this done first. And then swap to the archer, shoot him out of the air, and you should be good. And do whatever you need to to do damage. Otherwise, he is literally free range. Do whatever you want to him as long as you do damage. He's probably gonna try to absorb the thing, shoot him in the head again. Right. And after you down him like that, he's gonna go back in the air again. Just shoot him out of the sky. Same thing. Now, of course, I did an un unorthodox sort of fun team. You can use whoever you want. You can use Noel. You can use Ayato. You can use Yai Miko. You can even use Yoimiya in the pre previous. And I actually might save you a bit of time. But regardless, that fight is literally a rinse and repeat, just in reverse. So instead of staying on the floor and being able to potentially down him and then do some damage before he flies up, first, you got to shoot him down, do the damage, and then wait until he does another thing to shoot him down again. That's all there is to it, and I hope this helps, because when I saw Eon Blight Drake in the leaks, I was like, oh my god, this is perfect for Amberger, and so it was. Alright, I'm gonna clear this, and until next time. Hey, 
，戮力同心，哼，走开！想看烟花吗？哎，哎，哎，哎，哎，祭典重现，飞云旗，看枪，拒收并蓄。此乃天道。